Dayton, Ohio, August 7, 1865. To my old master, Colonel P. H. Anderson, Big Spring, Tennessee. Sir, I got your letter and was glad to find that you had not forgotten Jordan and that you wanted me to come back and live with you again, promising to do better for me than anybody else can. I have often felt uneasy about you. I thought the Yankees would have hung you long before this for harboring reps they found at your house. I suppose they never heard about your going to Colonel Martins to kill the Union soldier that was left by this company in their stable. Although you shot at me twice before I left you, I did not want to hear of your being hard and I'm glad you are still living. It would do me good to go back to the dear old home again and see Miss Mary and Miss Martha and Ellen, Ether, Green and Lee. Give my love to them all and tell them, I hope, we will meet in the better world, if not in this. I would have gone back to see you all when I was working in Nashville Hospital, but one of the neighbors told me that Henry intended to shoot me if he ever got a chance. I want to know particularly what the good chances you propose to give me. I'm doing tolerably well here. I get $25 a month with whittles and clothing. I have a comfortable home for Mandy. The folks call her Miss Anderson. And the children, Millie, Jane, Grandy, go to school and are learning well. The teacher says Grandy has a head for a preacher. They go to Sunday school, and Mandy and me attend church regularly. We're kindly treated. Sometimes we overhead others saying, them colored people were slaves down in Tennessee. The children feel hard when they hear such remarks. But I tell them it was no disgrace in Tennessee to belong to Colonel Anderson. Many darkies would have been proud as I used to be to call you master. Now, if you will, write and say what wages you will give me. I will be better able to decide whether it would be to my advantage to move back again. As to my freedom, which you say I can have, there is nothing to be gained on that score. As I got my free papers in 1864 from the Provost Marshal General of the Department of Nashville. Mandy says she would be afraid to go back without some proof that you were disposed to treat us justly and kindly, and we have concluded to test your sincerity by asking you to send us our wages for the time we served you. This will make us forget and forgive all scores and really on your justice and friendship in the future. I served you faithfully for 32 years and Mandy 20 years at $25 a month for me and $2 a week for Mandy. Our earnings would amount to $11,680. Add to this the interest for the time our wages have been kept back and deduct what you paid for our clothing and three doctor's visit to me and pulling a tooth for Mandy and the balance will show what we are in justice entitled to. Please send the money by Adams Express in care of V. 
Winters, Dayton, Ohio. If you fail to pay us for faithful labors in the past, we can have little faith in your promises in the future. We trust the good maker has opened your eyes to the wrongs which you and your fathers have done to me and my fathers in making us toil for you for generations without recompense. Here I draw my wages every Saturday night, but in Tennessee there was never any paid day for the Negroes any more than for the horses and cows. Surely there will be a day of reckoning for those who defraud the laborer of his hire. In answering this letter, please state if there would be any safety for my Millie and Jane who are now grown up, and both good-looking girls. You know how it was with poor Medelda and Catherine. It would rather stay here and starve and die, if it come to that, than have my girls brought to shame by the violence and wickedness of their young masters. You will also please state if there has been any schools open for the colored children in your neighborhood. The great desire of my life now is to give my children an education and have them form virtuous habits. P.S. Say howdy to George Carter and thank him for taking the pistol from you when you were shooting at me. From your old servant, Jordan Anderson.